Welcome to Smells Bad Gaming. We are here in Path of Exile. We are about to enter the belly of the beast, which I believe is one of the last quests. In fact, I think this is the final part of Act 4. So it's going to be very, very interesting. I have never been in here because Act 4 never existed last time I played this game. Yeah, what a creepy looking place. I haven't I got these? Thought I'd already talked to her about those. Oh well. Not to worry. Shall do that later. Hopefully nothing in here will be particularly tough at this stage. Bring up our trusty golem who assists us with our health recovery yeah they, these guys are pretty straightforward at this stage nothing nothing too taxing Ooh, what the hell is that some sort of spidery nasty okay cocoon Ugh. Ugh. yuck yeah something's over there I can see it Out. Ooh, like slow us down. Spectral sword, two handed. No, no drops. No drops worth considering. Let's put a totem up for this one because this is looking a little bit intense. Um, I don't know if that's an advantage for me or an advantage for them, but it seems to be helping. Another spidery thing. Getting a... Making a bit of a pounding. Yeah, these guys are, um... I wasn't actually paying attention properly there. They did actually knock my health down quite significantly. Let's try and get through these. Silver coin. Haven't really done many of the silver coin quests. Get that. Accidentally picked these things up. Rather bad at doing that. Okay. Where to? Is this it already? Oh no, it's just a door. Uh, do we go through it? Yeah, why not? Hey, X. These things are gruesome. Wait, what is this, I wonder? Ah, it's one of them. Oh, getting lag again. Getting a lot of lag lately in this game. Um, reasonably sure it's not my side of things. Okay, let's make sure that the area is clear before we activate this. Last thing we want is a whole lot of secondary mobs coming in. Okay, let's do it. No problem. T 
two they have two weeping essences and they are tough because we are not really making much progress on them and they keep healing I can't seem to kill them fast enough okay more DPS Wow, this guy is tough, alright. Need to, um... Wow, this guy really does hurt. I am trying to bring him down, but... He is just tough. Tote him down again. Bring that up. It's very rare that we ever have to use them. Boy. Get the, that guy up again. We nearly got him, but boy is he hurting us. I don't know if there's a trick to this guy, but... Nearly got him. Oh, shit! A brick. I was not expecting that at all. Go for the molten stuff. Resist fire. It's an ice golem. How can it resist fire? You would expect it would be vulnerable to fire. Oh man, that that was a tough fight. All for one. Uh, do we take it? Osses. Yeah, we'll take that. We can always upgrade it. Take those just in case. And that's it. Boy, oh boy, that was a tough fight. I was not prepared for that. That was as tough as the boss that we've been encountering recently. I will pick that up. Over here. Dead end. Well, oh, this is a dead end area completely. Now, I'm expecting to probably there's another one. Do I really want to risk it? I am so glad that there were no other secondary mobs in that battle. Because that would have absolutely wrecked us, I think. Get rid of these guys. Don't want anything secondary. Turning up. Anything secondary would have turned the battle on in their favour. As it was, it was hit and miss. We were struggling to keep our health up. Okay, there's some in here, but we'll get rid of them. What the hell is this? Holy shit! We're in trouble, we're in trouble, I can't get out. They've surrounded me. Do we destroy these little totems? Ah, nearly got them. And then we get lag. Ah, phew! keep losing our golem as well which is rare normally they have been able to handle whatever is thrown at them but not at the moment okay now we'll go back and do this thing area looks clear 
totem. Yep, uh... Uh, this one doesn't look quite so bad. Just keep on at him. Yeah, this guy's easy compared to that last one. That last one was so tough. Like, oh, did I not pick up the... I think I must have already picked it up. It's not there. Right. Oh, those things are disgusting. Holy chain. Mail. Hmm. These guys are a walk in the park compared to the last couple of battles. Yeah, no problem whatsoever with these. The corrupted beast, okay. A bone queen. Some sort of Insectoid clearly doing summoning, so we want to get rid of them as quickly as we can. And that's easier said than done. <laughs> Again, these creatures are significantly tougher, and that was close. It just won't go down. Nearly. Got them. Wow. Oh, there's always one left, isn't there? Huh. Not for us, but see how that would be useful for other classes. Okay, another dead end. Hmm. Well, if, judging on how hard these guys are. I've never really been challenged as Lurg. It's only been a few little incidents where I've thought, oh dear, I'm in trouble. But with these, they are definitely on the tougher side. Not all of them, but a significant number of them. Right. Another door. Hmm. Again, get rid of all the secondary mobs before we do this. We do it. Oh! Let's get rid of them as quickly as we can. Where's the other? Where's the other mob? Oh, it's always one that buggers off somewhere, isn't there? Okay, anything interesting here? Two stone room. No. No. And I've managed to pick other crap up again as I run around trying to avoid things. We'll take that. No. Oh, we'll go this way. Oh, there's another one of these. There is a lot of them, isn't there? Then, make sure we have a clear run. Now, 
dealing with lots of others. Uh, wow, that was quick. Felt like I'd only just leveled in the last session. Okay. Put that up now. Just hammer straight into them. Oh, that seems reasonably straightforward at the moment. Nearly down. Ah. Oh. Okay. Resists fire. So we'll use our glacial hammer instead. Nearly down. Oh, excellent. That and that. And that is all we'll take from here. Oh, and that. Okay, we'll go down this way. Take this out. I think that's what actually generates them. That sort of alien looking thing. Where are we? At the dead end. Hmm. What a nasty, horrible place. Not looking forward to the boss fight, though. I oh know, we didn't go up this way. Yeah. Aha! Ooh. So is this the place? Is this the place, eh? Very nervous. Let us do it. Hmm. Normally what happens is Although you have a second level, the actual boss is in its own little area. I'm hoping that's the case with this one. And that we're just not going to accidentally run straight into the boss. Because I think this is going to need mental preparation as well as... Ooh. These things are so foul. What are you? Extra cold damage. That's fine. I just smash my way through you. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. I did have to run away a little bit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it sees things that are causing the renewal of those wandering eye things. Interesting. Oh, go up this way. Now, I, I'm not actually trying to clear these areas because, of course, in Path of Exile, they just regenerate every time you go in. So there's actually no benefit in clearing them, except, of course, experience, which is going up rather quickly. Dead end. But it's more trying to find where the hell we're supposed to be going. Because, of course, because it does change, you can't memorise where to go. There's a few maps that have a fairly set format. Most of them are completely random, as far as I can tell, with my limited spatial direction problems. I have incredible directional, oh dear, weakness. <laughs> That's how I'll describe it. Ah oh, no, I didn't want to open the door. Nearly got it. 
Got it. Alright. Easy. These things are foul. Like, truly foul. Okay. Ooh, haven't seen these for a while. This looks like we're being led somewhere. Oh, quickly get that. Okay, this definitely looks like we've been led somewhere. Oh, there's someone shooting at us. Another one of these spidery looking things cross between. Yeah, it's hard to describe them really. Ooh, we'll take that. Okay, another door. I'm going to be sad to finish up this Let's Play. It's been a lot of fun. And if you've not watched it from the beginning, I really do recommend you do. Links are down below in the description. It has been quite a journey. Especially Act 4. Act 4 has been quite incredible, really. Okay, this looks like a dead end as well. Hmm. Nope, oh, nothing up there. Dag nabbit. A dead end again. Is there anything over this way? I can't quite recall. Oh, yes, there was. Aha. Uh -huh. Opens up. These are these are pretty easy mobs. Oh, another dead end. Excellent. Okay, scroll. Where are we being led to? Another door. So, something interesting over in the top. Yeah, I'm not sure if it is. Aha! The bowels of the beast. Alright. This is it. We are prepared. As well as we can be. Okay, so we're here in the belly of the beast. But let's not get above ourselves. Oh, it's piety again. We'll just... Oh, Jesus! Let's try and avoid here. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, 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 oh! I think avoiding these things is probably quite useful. Ah, uh, shit. Shit! We're gonna die at this rate. Gotta avoid it. Gotta avoid it. Don't attack her when that's happening. Too slow. Ouch! It's too fast! Let's get rid of this. She is absolutely devastating us. We're run, 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 run. And she's healing as we're doing it. And she hits like a bloody Mack truck. Oh, 
Nearly got her. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Just about. No! Oh dear. Well, that didn't go well, did it? Okay, we'll resurrect at the checkpoint. Because we still got her. I don't quite know what killed us at the very end there. Something. Anyway, let's talk to Piety. There comes a time when brute force is all that we have left. You've proved your worth to me, Karui, twice over. Time you proved it to Rayclast. Part of me wishes I'd died at your feet as was intended. The little girl within me that shies from darkness, from greatness. It was Malachi who reached out to me, who wrapped me in nightmare, made me his slave. He has shown me greatness beyond imagining, so much that I thought my mind would shatter under its weight. And although my mind remains intact, my dreams were not so fortunate. Malachi is in the beast's black core right now, harnessing all that the beast is and will be. He will destroy this world and forge it anew in the divine image of nightmare. Yet as powerful as Malachi has become, he is neither unreachable nor invulnerable. He sacrificed much to become the beast's prime servant, both in spirit and in flesh, yet three vital organs remain. His heart, lungs, and entrails. Keepsakes of humanity lost. They will be our tickets into Malachi's private little show. Venture deeper, deep into Nightmare's abattoir. I'll follow when I'm able. You find me those organs, and I'll get us into the Black Core. Wow. Let's just find out about this. Malachi chose his three most loyal servants to guard those precious innards. His godless three. Inquisitor Malagaro, Chevron of Umbra, and Doedri Darktongue. If the history books are accurate, High Templar Vol burned Malagaro and Doedri at the stake on his way to lay siege to San. He didn't have to worry himself with Chevron. Brutus had already sorted her out. Yet slaves of Nightmare seem to be shackled just as tightly to life as they are to the beast. I, of course, am living proof of that. Don't worry yourself with that little detail, though. Shackles are made to be unlocked. Hmm, okay. Wow. Absolutely wow. Let's have a quick wander around. I don't quite know what killed me at the end there, but... Very disappointing. Okay, let's just have a quick look and see. Okay, so we've still got one more to go. And I don't know if it's got a... Let's just go through here. See what's in here. The harvest. Okay, so there is no other way. God, it's just. I want to go in, but what we'll do is we will finish up here. That battle with piety was brutal, absolutely brutal. If you've enjoyed this episode of Path of Exile, do hit that like, hit subscribe for more content like this, and be notified with that little bell. Uh, we're reaching the end of Act 4, so the finale of Path of Exile. Come join me in the next couple of episodes. Thank you very much.